Well, people, oh my gosh, I didn't sleep good last night. My bed and uh, bed frame was sliding all over the place. And I guess I have just had enough. So um, I'm showing you. I decided that I'm sleeping on the floor until I can do something else. And I still have the frame here. But I've got some help. And we are removing the second row seats for storage because I was starting to feel like I was going to have to get rid of things like my heater and things that are important if I and and I just need the storage base and I'm with some really good friends who have a schoolie and they have enough room under their bed to store these until later on so that's the starter of this so let's see we got to put up this seat so he can get the bolts out and um, basically, there's only three bolts right, let's see, right, uh, not there, right down there somewhere. Where is the camera thing? Right there. One, two, and a third one, bolts. And these are already out on this seat. We're about to take them out on this side. And so how nice. Richard and Candy are helping out <laughs> and um, helping out. He's actually taking the bolts out. I, guys have better arm strength than Lisa does, I have noticed in my lifetime. Um, although sometimes I can do it. It's, I don't have as much strength in my hands and arms. Um, but mm. also Miss Candy, what a sweetheart, has put, um, she has crockpot and plenty of um, uh, solar on her bus and she put some 15 bean soup on today we're gonna with some uh, turkey in it turkey meat in it and oh my gosh that's gonna be nice when we get done with this yes because um we yeah. are truly roughing it yeah and oh, we're roughing it with, with but, a rock pot. <laughs> all, yeah but all of this space down in here I at first I didn't want to do this but I am gonna make sure that these seats go t close to my property to be in storage and then if I ever want to sell the van then I have them because I don't I want to keep the resale value on the van that's kind of sure. important to me and I think it makes sense and they're still good it doesn't matter and I'm, I really, I really was starting to go, oh my God, I'm going to have to get rid of my chainsaw and not take it with me. And oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get rid of my heater. And there is plenty of space down in here. So I, I give, okay, Bob Wells, I give. <laughs> yeah, Bob, <laughs> Bob wanted to take the seats out before um, Howard gave me the van. And I said, no, but I think I was making a wise decision to try everything I could try before we took these out. Right. Um, and... I am a minimalist. And but you wanted to keep them. You didn't want to. You right. I did to want to back. keep them. Yeah. I didn't want them like back sold the or taken to the, yeah, or taken to a dump or something. That's true, Candy. Um, you exhausted all options. Yep. And here we are. And I think I, I think I made good decisions all along the way to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. And, um, and I really do need the storage space. And as an extreme minimalist, and I am, it just allows me to have the things that I really need to, to or want to have in my life. And living in such a small space, I have used the heater twice since uh well actually more than twice since april last year but in this minivan i only used it once and so having that heater with me is kind of important and um, we use the chainsaw off and on often because you know i'm around campfires and i like to cook on wood so um that's a that's another thing that I just want to have those things with me and I like carrying my tools then when I want to do something like build my little kitchenette cabinet that I have I can do it myself I don't have to have people always help me and you and, can do it your way and right and when you have your own tools you get to you get to be the boss of the project <laughs> so um now that we're now that we made the decision I'm happy with this and it's, it'll help And uh, that's, that's the story for the moment. Okay, so we got ran into a little glitch. We got the seats are all loose from the bolts, but there is this plastic piece between the two seats. And on one video on YouTube University, it said snap this piece off 
in order to remove the seats. Well, we're trying to figure out how to do that. But that's the big key right there is snapping off some of that trim plate, whatever that is. So we're going to work on that. These seats are really heavy. And yep, when we try not to pinch fingers, and it's taken yeah, two grown men to way. lift it up. They got the bolt out, but trying to get it around that trim is kind of weird. Uh, that's the hard. trick, is that trim is hanging it up. <clears throat> um, and I can't see a way to... Drop it down. You, you down? Yeah. Yeah, you're back on the bolts, right? Is there a way to pop this? Um. See, hold on, hold on, hold on. The shroud. Even this piece, this shroud has to come out. There's no doubt in my mind. I don't care what you saw for videos. They didn't no, show. No, they didn't show how to do it. They, yeah. they popped that off. I mean, There's they so did not show. So, right. so we mean? need, yeah, it's like probably. This this shroud doesn't have to completely come off. But it it's got to be loose. It has to come loose enough to get this past so the shroud. Possibly so, just that one bolt. What if, what if in here somehow, because that other guy said to pop, because he, he sounded like it was so simple. What if this piece pops off? No, 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 no. Don't be prying and then finding yourself. Let's try and get Well, see, because I pushed these in. 11, these were. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get a, a nut or a. Uh, you got a nut already right here. <laughs> we got a couple of them in this van, right? We've got to be nuts to be doing this. <laughs> but we're going to put a, a socket on that guy. Man, these chairs are heavy, though. Aren't they? Dang. <coughs> Which is good. But I just think that if I was to resell the van, I'd better keep the seats. Yes. And I don't know whether that's going to happen, but uh, after it completely belongs to me, it's possible. The resale value is Five important. The yeah. By the 11. Too big. Oh, Excuse you know, you, there's probably one right there that a you tried on. What? The, a there's another right there, uh, the, another that's... trim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's do this one first. Well, I meant for her to check the size. Oh. <laughs> what I'm looking at is the slide, the way that slides. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm just afraid to break some. Well, see how that's pulling up on the yeah. shroud? That's what's concerning me. Is this yeah. piece right here is right. grabbing a hold of the shroud, and it's and it's also actually preventing us to go up any further. Any further up? Yeah. Uh, but once that's loose, it's possible uh, that possible. that it can get that past. You can get up yeah. enough. If it gets to, up enough, it can then enough move space to move it forward. Like some. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I do kind of have this. Kind of. I know it moves. This one's got to be a honest, of its I, don't, own. I don't like uh, the, all that tension and, uh, against. Yeah. The, you know, the weight also is bad on my back. I know, I know. Well, that's what I was standing there going, oh crap. Yep. Thank you for coming over and mm -hmm. helping. Michael? Yep. Do you own the video too? Hmm? We're putting this on video oh, because you are? other yeah because the only thing I could find didn't show us how to do it. Right. See, see, there's these. I think there's these little um, things. We may have here. to loosen up this, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, this little gizmo I'm showing on the video especially. This little gizmo is flat, like like here's the other one. Yeah. And there's a, a piece of this plastic inside that pulls that. out and snaps down in there. Yeah. So we did get those pulled. Um, but it's not quite enough room to pull the seat. You got the them pulled out. now. Can they go Closed. back in? 
Yeah, they're oh, closed right now. And then how do they come out? They slide. They. I may not and be able to you slide can it. Manually right slide them. You just manu. Yeah, you can just slide them out. They're yeah. They just slide out. I can't do it from this angle. But they just slide and they snap. Yeah. You may have so. to loosen this one. So. And this one to get the shroud at least up on that one corner and maybe. I should have told you where my little. Oh no, they wouldn't have been the right kind of sockets. Wrong size, Jill. <laughs> so this is becoming a this is becoming quite the project um okay now patricia was uh wanting something for her cooking and i'll have to edit this all right but okay so michael was right we had to take the um Nuts, nuts off, off the, of the, 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 the trim or shroud, okay, and then we were they were able to, to, with two men, because it's heavy, these seats are heavy, they were able to then just lift it up and it came out easily, simply. Yes, of course, these bolts are going to be sticking up there, but we're going to put the nuts right back on them so yes. that we know where they are. Yes. And they'll be fine. I just have to watch not to. So, yeah. now on the other side, you have to do the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to put the nuts back in if you want to take a yeah, break, Michael. Yeah, okay. okay. And then... Okay. Um, Even the bolts to the chair, right? Put them so here we are making sure that we leave the nuts on the bolts where they ought to ride. Because that makes sense. So... Lucy? And, and it took two, two grown men to pull that seat out, so, you know... Yeah, that, that seat is... It's not a joke. It's, no it's joke. a heavy... probably weighs 60 pounds. I think that's what Michael said. Yeah, and, well, and it's the it's angle. It's just awkward. Yeah. yeah, it's the angle that it's in. Yeah. All right. Okay. The nuts are back on the shroud. Mm -hmm. Nuts are back on the uh, the studs. The yep. seat. Be careful. Cause, yeah. cause we, we know you. We, we, we don't want to have to put more salve on your... Again. Oh. Yeah. Get back I mean, um, that's, that's kind of minor. Yep, warning, there it goes. Device temperature, whatever. I don't know why my phone is saying I don't have enough. All right, so we took out the second row seats today, and I kind of got the van back together the best I can with the bed on the floor this time. And I'm exhausted. And there's the bed frame. And there's my food and stuff, and my kitchenette cabinet that I worked on the yesterday was it yesterday <laughs> i think it was yesterday anyway so we're gonna try this tonight and um and we'll see what happens and uh i ought to sleep better at least and uh, i know a few people have been asking me to show pictures of my of my van because i'm full timing in this and uh i like full timing in it i just got a few tweaks i gotta figure out and i still um i still as an extreme minimalist or whatever, I still have to um, have a few things to live with. And there are things like that blue coat that's on the top of the towel over there. Um, I really need to um, upgrade from that coat to a packable down or a packable um, uh, per permaloft um, synthetic uh, jacket because it'll take up less space and that's more my style. And, um, but for the moment, this is, this is what it looks like for the moment. And, um, because we're always changing things. It's the way life is out here. Um, we're always trying to improve. And I mean, it's the way life is. So I, um, I do, I have my material and the, uh, adhesive spray to finish up these window coverings and make them not so silvery. The back ones are good. I, I've really enjoyed these. Yeah, there's some daylight showing. I didn't quite put them on right. And I think a couple of, it's a bit cold. A couple of um, the Velcro strips have fallen off in the, in the change of temperatures. So I have to repair those, but that's a minor thing. Anyways, I will talk to you all soon and keep it simple. And uh, co coming to you live from Fortuna Pond. <laughs> um, Signing off, Simply Lisa.